Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This fellow is your host, Bill Miller. All right, you rascals and rascalettes. Super excited today because we have an unboxing of graded comics that we picked up in an auction months and months ago. This is the box. And I don't know how many are in here, so in the interest of time, it may be broken up into one or more videos. And I certainly don't know which books they are. So it's a true mystery unboxing. I don't know. As a matter of fact, you will get to find out before I do, as I'll do it in such a way as to show you first. So we've got our trusty box cutter made for right-handers. And I'm going to open up the box. some newspaper, and some bubble wrap. So let's see what we got. All right, I think we'll go ahead and do and lots of plastic bags and these guys. I think we'll go ahead and do two different videos just to make them go a little bit quicker let's start off with this one all right i think we've got a lot of cutting in our future here Bubble wrap is off. Let's see. try my best not to see it. Okay, I think I have the backs facing me, so that's a good sign. Goodness gracious. Half of this video is going to be me opening these packages. All right, and here we go with the first one and boom a green label oh no super excited about this so this is Savage Sword of Conan number four Marvel Comics February of 1975 Boris W. Vallejo written on cover and marker um, Richard Corbin frontispiece and pinups, Robert E. Howard adaptation, Roy Thomas story, Boris Vallejo cover, John Buscema, Alfred Alcala, and Tim Conrad art. And this is a qualified 9.2 with off-white to white pages. So very excited about this. are. So as I said previously, I studied dozens and dozens of Vallejo signatures 
And I'm certain that this is one of them. So very excited to have it. And if CBCS ever starts creating comic books, who we have LaSalle Extension University, then I will send it in there. But until then, I'm more than satisfied to have this guy. Savage Sword of Conan, number four. Just a beauty. How cool is that? All right. And boom is the attack of the green labels. So this is another Savage Sword of Conan number four. This is a qualified 8.5 off-white to white pages. And again, qualified because of that. Beautiful signed piece. So very excited to have this guy as well. All right. And here we go. Boom. Oh boy. Very, very, very cool. This is Erie number 87, <clears throat> Warren Publishing, uh, October of 1977. Bruce Jones and Jim Stenstrom stories, Richard Corbin, Alex Nino, and Jose Ortiz Hart. This is the Canadian price variant. It's a CGC 9.4 with white pages. So this is our first graded Eerie comic book. And it is a beauty. And on the back, you've got a special Famous Monsters Magazine issue on Star Wars. Star Wars Spectacular. So again, Eerie number 87. Very cool. All right. Let's see what else we've got. We'll do one more of these packages. We'll make two videos. There's four packages, we'll do two in each. the cover. Yeah, I got the back, so it should be good to go. Here we go. We got three 
Now we got two more. So here's one. Oh boy. Super cool. Very excited about that. This is Vampirella number 90, Warren Publishing, Warren Publishing, September of 1980. Don Glut and Jerry Boudreaux stories. I want to say it's Enric cover, Alfredo Alcala, Rudy Nebris, and Pablo Marcos art. This is a 9.0 with white pages. So this is my first Vampirella graded book. Don't know if I'll hang on to it. I prefer 9.2, but it was a good value. So I picked it up and we'll see. There's some flexibility there. On the back, we've got the New Warriors Battle Jacket for exciting adventures from the disco to the outer limits of space. And if you don't want one of those, then you're just not cool. Because those are on fire. So Vampirella number 90. Last one for today. Let's see what we've got. Boom. Oh boy. Super excited about this one. This is a classic homage, right, to Savage Tales number one. This is Vampirella number 25, Warren Publishing, June of 1973. James Brokel Biography, editorial by Phil Suling, eight-page color story with art by Esteban Maroto. Doug Monk and Bill Dubay stories, Enric Cover, Jose Gonzalez, Jose Bea, and Aurelian Art. This is an 8.5 with off-white pages. So again, same thing. We'll see. Don't know if I'm gonna hang on to it or not, but I'm keeping it for now. And on the back, we've got previews of Vampy, Eerie, and Creepy. So very cool, super excited. Vampirella number 25. And that will do it for the graded books that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed showing them to you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.